In this video, we will guide you through the layout and navigation of a MindTap course. When you first log into MindTap, you will see the default view, which is the week view. If you have set available and due dates, this view allows your students to view and access the assignments that are due this week. You can easily navigate from week to week using the arrows to the left or right. Across the top of the screen, you will see that you can switch between three views. The week view that is displayed now, as well as the unit view, or date manager view. If you have a preference for one of these views, you can later edit that in your course settings. Let's take a look at the unit view. This view organizes your MindTap course into folders, units, and activities. It presents content to students in a learning path that you are encouraged to personalize to meet the unique learning objectives of your course. You can click on a folder to expand its contents, and then into a unit to reveal various learning activities. Each MindTap course includes carefully curated content specifically designed for your course or discipline. Here are some of the icons you may find. Readings, assessments or homework, flashcards, media, and web links. The third view is the Date Manager view, which enables instructors to set and edit available and due dates for the course learning activities. You can set dates individually or apply a date to a set of activities at the same time. On the right side of the screen, you will see the Recent Activity Scores panel. This will show you the average scores on assignments that have recently passed their due date. It provides an opportunity for you, at a glance, to see assignments that students may be struggling with. Along the right-hand side of MindTap, you will find the App Doc. The App Doc provides quick access to tools designed to help you manage your course, like the Progress App and My Content. You'll also find tools to help drive student engagement and productivity with MindTap, including Study Hub, ReadSpeaker, and the Flashcards tool, to name a few. Look for additional videos on individual apps. And finally, if you click on the drop down next to your name, you'll have access to modify course settings, create a tech support ticket, and to run the system check to ensure that your system is ready to run MindTap. Thank you for completing this video training for MindTap. For additional help or resources, please visit our training and support sites or join the higher ed community to engage with your peers. Thank you.